Now my very special pleasure to invite probably the youngest ever presenter and founder of, uh, of Silicon Valley Open Doors Pitching Company. So let me invite Kubius. Kubius, Sava, please step forward. Uh, hello. Good luck. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Sava, and uh, I'm 13 years old. Uh, I am the inventor of WowCube, the world's first portable twisty game console, which is a game-changing gaming device on the gaming market today. So, everyone, look at your hands. You are probably holding something in your hands right now. And no, that's not the problem. It's just that uh, we people have a physical need to grasp on something and, and fidget with something in our hands. There has always been uh, many different things people used to fidget with, starting from beads, uh, ending with the recently popular fidget spinner. And of course, we like the things that we fidget with to be responsive and interactive. So our solution um, is probably combining a um, brain twister with a modern and interactive toy to get the best fidgeting and gaming experience. We're introducing the ultimate device for gaming and fidgeting, WowCube. It's the world's first portable twisty game console. At first look, it kind of looks like a two by two version of the Rubik's Cube, but it has nothing to do with it. It is a console which consists of uh, eight autonomous computers that are talking to each other uh, on the inside through magnetic contacts and sharing the game data. As a result, uh, you, people have the ultimate gaming experience they've never had before. We have many different games, um, such as action games, mazes, arcade games, scrabbles, and more. We also have a mobile app, which uh, allows people to get more games uh, to their WowCube. And with our open API, people can create their own games without the need of having a physical version of WowCube, and then put them on our store, the mobile app, for other people to buy. So 25% of the global gaming market is console gaming. And by 2021, the console gaming, uh, the whole gaming industry is expected to be uh, $180 billion uh, with $39 billion to be console gaming. Our current goal is to uh, expand in the United States console gaming market. So many experts say that um, the already big uh, console gaming market, uh, no, just gaming market, will only continue to grow. But they don't see any other uh, new gaming devices, particularly new gaming devices, coming to the market anytime soon. So here's some of our competitors. Take a close look at them. They all have something in common. You see it? Yes. It is that they have a screen and a few buttons on the sides. That's it. All, all of them are basically the same. But WowCube, it's different. WowCube has, has 24 screens uh, and no buttons, which is why we think it will succeed. This is the competitor's market shares. So why uh, is um, WowCube like, so competitive and good? Well, it's very unique and original. Uh, it's not just a gadget, it's a platform. It's DIY open to anyone. A anyone can do whatever they want with it. And we have four patents on it. Uh, why do we think it will succeed? It's absolutely new. There's nothing like it. You can play games in a way you've never played before by twisting and shaking. You can use WowCube for gaming, uh, education, or just to relax. 
uh, and you can develop your own games and then sell them on our store. And for all the creators out here and DIY stuff, uh, you can build your own version of Wildcube for personal use. And yeah. So our business model uh, is based on sales of hardware, which is the cube itself, software, which is uh, games and apps, and franchise, which is uh, licensing, uh, accessories, and extras. So once we start sales, we expect them to go up, bringing our company to the list of future unicorns. So we have already raised half a million dollars, which we have spent on prototype making. And we're looking for five more million dollars, which we are going to spend on manufacturing, sales and marketing, uh, research and development, and extras. So we have a team of brilliant people, which are professionals in their own uh, unique ways. So here are some of our advisors. Um, and we're proud to announce that we have four patents in total, with one already approved in Russia, and three are pending in the US. Thank you very much for listening to me. If you have questions, ask them now. <laughs> Thank you. Question, please. Yeah, great presentation. Uh, but uh, is that consumer hardware? What? Oh. <laughs> is that consumer hardware? What, um, uh, can you tell us how many iterations you've made and, and uh, where you're at with the device precisely? Uh, we have, right now we have just six prototypes. But we've already got components coming from China. We just connect them and make them into cubes at home. And uh, in start of 2019, hopefully, we'll go on the market. We, expect we are also going on Kickstarter in September. Yeah. We expect to get at least 10,000 next year to sell. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see. So I, I think, I mean, that is a sort of kind of like a, a show, a looks like unit. Do you have one that's, uh, that's functional somewhere? Have you, have Th you gotten it? This is functional, look. Uh, right, um, I can't tell the animations from here if it's animated uh, or not. I just, you can play. sorry. <laughs> you can play. The task is to connect all, all pipes. Oh. Okay, cool, thanks. So you connect all pipes, uh, so there's no steam coming out on this game. And that's how you win. <laughs> As I already said, um, it, it consists of eight autonomous computers, and uh, each one has its own battery. This is why this one is. of them can turn off. Cool. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's neat. Now, thanks for the precision because it's hard to tell at a distance if it. Yeah. And what is the uh, what is a bomb cost like? I mean, it tells the truth. You just like to play a little bit, yes? Yeah. G give him. <laughs> So uh, considering the price, uh, we hope that the price will be between 200 to 250. Because uh, technically, you have uh, two or three iPhones there inside. Right, yeah. So uh, it's, it, it's quite ex expensive toy, but it, it's quite powerful toy. Oh, battery life? Um, we haven't done any tests yet, but we think about five or four hours. Hold um, on. Uh, let me explain. This is a prototype. Yeah. So to answer your question, we need to make a test of the final version. Yeah. Uh, and the answer will be in the end of this year. Currently, this is just the, the, the <laughs> development stage. Recharging by cable or a magnetic induction? Uh, yeah. The final version will have uh, inductive. Wireless charging. In each model, you, you have a battery. And uh, the way they are connecting to each other, they can recharge each other. Yeah. Thank you. Question. Any other questions? So you, you haven't done user testing yet, but obviously you've put it in front of your peers or your friends. Exactly. Um, so what was the genesis of this idea for you? Because you, you were the inventor of this product. Yes. Was it based on using another product? Was there other use cases out there? Where you um, it's kind of based on Siptio. Uh, did you ever hear, hear, hear of it? It's like dominoes that have... Uh, they can run games on them, but it's completely different. Do you uh, plan to ship it with any initial games when it comes out, or are you dependent on other people to build games to it? How do you think about seeding the market with some initial applications or games? Both. Um, well, we have a few games that we, we're, we have made ourselves, but as, as I said in the presentation, uh, we're going to have an open API platform for anyone to create games, if they know how to program on C, um, and, and then they can put it on our store for other people to buy. 
plus as I'm responsible for the marketing. Also, currently we are discussing with quite big companies to get the, the, their licenses. So we hope that uh, when we will launch on the market, there will be few very famous games. Uh, I mean, titles which will be recreated from scratch because this is a completely unique device and you need to, you cannot just port old games. You need to create this from scratch. But uh, I, I guess we'll, we'll surprise the whole community. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, more questions? Let's send you Wolf Cube. Thank you. Yeah, Wolf Cube. Guys, you actually select the, 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 the biggest winner of the, our competition, audience award competition. Granted to company name, Kubios. Kubios. The young, the youngest founder of the company in SVOD history. So now you have to engage with your kids and, and kind of engage them to be even earlier than 13, 13, yes, or 14, 13? 13. 13. Okay, next year, 12. 12. <laughs> Only 12 years old founders will be accepted. The youngest sales manager as well. <laughs> okay, it's a tough to compete. Okay, guys, congratulations.